In this video I'm going to teach you how to dissolve any emotion in three simple steps using the Sedona method. Emotions are something that affect our lives probably more than anything. It changes how we interact with any situation. I mean, you feel bad about something, you're not going to show up in your best self. You feel good about something, you feel inspired, you feel happy, you feel hopeful. It's going to change how you take that action, interact with that person, execute the job. I mean, don't we all wish we could, when we're angry, just drop the anger and resolve the situation? But often we just get really caught up in the emotion. We might start ruminating about it, we might have thoughts and feelings, we might think about it all night, and that can affect our sleep, that has flow in effects. So wouldn't you say that emotions have the biggest effect, one of the biggest effects in our lives? If we can master our emotions, or at the very least, be a bit better at dropping the emotions that negatively impact us, I think your life will improve a lot and it has improved a lot for me following some of the techniques I'm going, to about, I'm going to teach today. Starting from the Sedona method. Sedona method is a letting go process. It's a method that was created to be really simple, to allow people to drop emotions in a systematic way. It's comprised of three steps. Three simple steps and I'm going to be covering them in this video today. In the dark of the night I can still call on my name When the hardest parts are still full of pain So I drink and I smoke and I... First step, when you have a negative emotion, is often that we suppress the negative emotion. We stuff it down we don't want to even look at it. And we might start ruminating about it too. So it could be one of the two. We could either ruminate it and keep on creating more of it, or we could suppress it and hide from it and not want to look at it. Meanwhile, it's infesting us, it's eating us up in the inside. We're feeling bad, but we are avoidant. So the first step is to welcome the emotion. Welcoming is not necessarily thinking about it, it's about not resisting it and allowing it to come up in whatever form it comes up in. So the emotion can start to come up, you can start to really feel it, you can become more intense. The idea is you are the silent observer watching it, watching it from watching it as it comes up in whatever way it comes up so the emotion comes up and you want to let it be here so kitty welcome this emotion could you let this emotion be here so instead of resisting it instead of feeling annoyed that we haven't been able to let go of it and it's been like two days we just let it be here and welcome it like a friend that is welcoming his best friend that he hasn't seen in years so welcoming the emotion like a best friend can you start to f to notice that by welcoming emotions you start to change your relationship with the negative emotion instead of suppressing or hiding from it or running from it or being annoyed that you are in a bad mood you're now allowing it to be here and Allowing something to be here is giving it the love, the unconditional love it needs. The unconditional love it needs to release from your body. So that's what welcoming is. It's about loving that emotion. Loving it and accepting it. Okay, I accept you. I see you. I observe you. After welcoming, the second step is to ask yourself, could I let this go? Could I let this go? We often feel like we can't let go of things. We often feel like we have to hold on to it, that it's become part of us. 
it might feel difficult to let go of. An argument with somebody. After an argument, you might feel, oh, I can't let this go. Asking yourself, could I let this go, opens you up to the possibility that maybe I can. When you ask yourself, could I let this go, you'll either answer to yourself, yes or no. If you answer to yourself, yes, you've opened yourself up to this possibility that, yes, maybe I could let this go. Well, the possibility exists that I could actually let this motion go. I, I could do it. I could do it, you know. But just because I can do something, doesn't mean I will. Eh, maybe not, you know, maybe not. Which is why the next question is, would I let this go? I could do it, I know I could, it's in the possibility of the universe, the multiverse, it's possible. Yeah, I could let this go, I could. But would I? Would you let this go? That's another can of worms. <laughs> But knowing that you could helps to release and helps you give that possibility. So I could let this go, would I do it though? Would I let this go? The important part is to answer yourself honestly. If you honestly think, would I let this go? No, not really. Just say it. Say it to yourself. Okay. I wouldn't let this go. The important part is the honesty because when we have suppressed emotions, the biggest thing that stops them from releasing from us is the um, dishonesty. It's the avoidance. What's the suppression? It's the resistance to the thing. Because when you resist something, it doesn't allow it to pass through you. But when you are open, it passes through. And so when you don't resist it, by being open by being honest and saying no I wouldn't let this go ironically and paradoxically you actually are kind of letting it go even if it might not feel like you are the key is that honesty so you tell so say to yourself would I let this go and maybe you can't let go of all of it but maybe there's a small part of it a small subtle sense of feeling or subtle sense of thinking that you could say okay I can let this part, little part go and keep in mind this is different from different different for different people some people release emotionally they're just feeling it very strongly but if you are more of a thinking sort of analytical person you haven't tapped into your emotions so much yet it might just be a feeling and sorry it might just be a thinking sort of thing where you are releasing by thinking about it but that's also okay um, it takes time to really dive into the core of these emotions and as you progress you will get better so would i let this go yes i would let this go final question when when would i let this go often we want to put things off into the future we say i could do it i would do it but when <sighs> when would i do it <sighs> not today but the key in meditation the key when letting things go is to realize there's no other time other than right here right now in the now in the present moment so would I let this go when would I let this go now by saying now I'm making the decision to let go of this right here right now in the present moment which is the only time that exists, which is the only time that you can actually let go of things. So here's just a recap of the Sedona method. Three steps, or four, if you want to think about it like that. Could I welcome this? Could I let this emotion be here? So think of your situation that's caused you the dramas. The emotions are coming up, you're feeling frustration, anger, sadness, grief. Um, shame, whatever it could be. Okay. Could I let this be? Okay, it's coming up. Could I let this be? I'm really tapping into the emotions of my body. Okay. Could I welcome this? Could I let this be? Yes. Welcoming. 
Could I let this go? Could I let this go? Yes. Would I let this go? Yes. When? When would I let this go? Now. It's so simple, guys. Three simple steps. But if you can practice this, and it sounds kind of crazy, I'm just saying it right now, and you're not actually, um, if you're not actually doing it, then it's going to be harder for you to understand. But if you keep practicing, if you practice this after this video, practice the simple three step process on any emotion, you'll find massive impact. And you'll find that these three simple steps is the key to actually letting go of any emotion. It's really simple, but our mind, our analytical mind makes us feel like it's a really complicated process. It feels like we have to do all these things, we have to argue with ourselves, but that is more part and parcel of more resistance that's stopping us from letting go of the emotion. So just practice this guys, three simple steps, practice it, and I think you'll really find it helps you. Catch you later.